Yeah. Apparently, I got paid. Ooh, I like my emails when I get some money. Yep. Like that. <laughs> this is. <laughs> You cannot not laugh at this because this is it's such a comedic thing to me though. Uh, it, it's it's almost a ridiculous thing. We're live? We're good, okay. Um <laughs> I I was driving home from a doctor's appointment today and and I said on Facebook because I, I got a chance to stop at a gas station and I read some of the comments and I, I had to call you, dude. I had to call you. I was like, man, we just talked about this last night. Right. We touched on it a little bit. A little bit. But it was like, I never even thought it was a big deal. I didn't think it was like, I was like, what are you, like, what is he, like, I've never even heard of this subject. So I get like 50 screenshots. I'm like, my phone's blown up when I'm driving. I'm like, what the hell is going on right now? Like, what happened so bad? That I'm okay. I'm gonna get gas. I'll look at it. And the comments was the issue for me. However, the issue of what we're about to talk about really, I don't think, is an issue to me. Is an issue to you? And you can introduce the issue, Mr. Miller. The um, issue is uh, some people have decided that they want to. Uh, they want to try to. Uh, change Johnson Avenue, which is on the uh, north end of Johnsboro, which used to be the center of Johnsboro when Johnsboro was a lot younger, 25 years ago, uh, to Martin Luther King Drive or Boulevard. Or to MLK. Or MLK. Yeah. Okay. So, um, and so when it's first come up, you get your stare, you know, you're, you're going to get, no, I don't want to do it, no, I don't, you know, but. It when got, did this it, come about? It, it because become, I'm unaware of any of this. I'm like, it's, I'm so obsolete, and it's I'm, got, I don't care. I know it's come up several other times, but it's, I think it's been like in the past month. It's kind of, and it just seems to be building a little bit of steam. Um, you know, getting a little bit of attention from everybody in town. And, and you know, it, it you can't, you know, it, it got racist really quick, which it's, you know, Imagine gonna, that. Gonna, yeah. People people yeah. have a topic, and let me guess. Are they blaming the public official? They are. They they, they are. are. They are They're blaming the public officials they, that they set in place, and it's all their fault because these people don't have anything else to do. Right. They're so mad. so what what is the issue these people are blaming on public officials? Because here, here's what I'm going to say. For one, it's not one person that is elected right. job to immediately fix anything right okay so why are you blaming public officials and i've heard a little bit i looked at what they were saying in the comments i got 50 messages yeah. <laughs> screenshots They're like they just took it down from the biggest news site in jones world holy lord i'm going wait it wait, wait just come on man let's take a step back do does anybody breathe before they talk <laughs> Does anybody listen before they react? Yeah. No, and so like if you were going after, and I'm not, we're going to go into the subject, but if you're going after a public official, if you're going after the police, if you're going after and blaming somebody else for a street name change, right? Come talk to me real quick. They'll come talk to me. That's all I'm saying because you know what? Here's the thing. I'm gonna turn in my Italian fucking accent right now, okay? Because here's what we're going to do. We're going to sit down, we're going to have a conversation about how fucking stupid you are, and then we're going to go, things don't change overnight. Right. These people you voted for are there for a purpose. Right. Quit blaming them, idiots. And I'm sorry that I call you idiots, but if you're acting like an idiot, I might want to call you. Go on, Gerald. I think the, um, you know, the you know people that are blaming the, uh, the mayor for... Having, having to have a committee, you know, to do this, to get, to delegate it to somebody else, to do a little research. You son of a bitch. Yeah. How dare you let him be fair? How dare you let the mayor, I don't even know who the mayor is. Well, here's, here's what don't you have, care. Here's what you have to do. You have to blame the mayor for not doing enough. 
and then you have to blame the mayor for when he tries to do it the right way. Well, show me that he didn't do it and didn't do it the right way. So, so a bunch of Facebook comments created this whole fiasco right. today. Well, it went past Facebook because if it was on KIT's website, yeah, and, and that's, that's and that's when it, where it went south. And that's where I, I I agree. Okay, look, the biggest news organization in this town that everybody trusts, yeah. everybody looks at, and look, they took it down like in with five minutes, ten minutes. I was getting screenshots. I'm driving on the highway, and my I'm like. Quit screwing up my Joe Rogan podcast. I'm listening to Joe right now. I don't give a shit what's happening. And these people are just flaring out. They're just, like, I'm being a little bit dramatic. Yeah. I got to get my coffee under control. Thank you, NEA Baptist, but I love St. Bernard's, too, because they did my knee surgery. Thank you. (laughs) I'm an equal opportunity person, is all I'm saying. But these people are like, the mayor, the mayor, the mayor. Like, and they, they're like, these people, these people. Yeah. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do you understand how long it takes to get shit to change? The mayor can't go around and just put out every little fire. We're talking yeah. about a street change. So what's, what's the mayor, the mayor supposed to do? Show up at your house she, and go, she, <laughs> what do you, how do you want it? Oh, okay, we'll change it. Oh, you don't want it? Okay, we won't change it. You want Okay, we will. I mean, it's everybody wants their opinion, their way of looking at it. The Whoever mayor. the mayor is, yeah. if he wants personal protection, I'm all around. <laughs> I'm just saying. I like to smack some of these dumb fucks too. I mean, that's not the right way to say it. It's not the PC. But why are you blaming one person? Yeah. And they come out like that. And it's like, come on, dude. It's like this. This poor guy yeah. got this. It's it's just like the principal. The principal that had his secretary have an affair with a math teacher. Right. That guy didn't do shit. He just has to deal with it. You know, we're talking about a street change. Let's settle down. Right. Let's take a breath. Right. Let's go, hey, maybe, maybe <laughs> we're going to change this from a name to a different name. Right. And why is it controversial? Why is it controversial? For separation purposes, no, I think I would think. The, who's think who's in charge of saying it should be MLK? Yeah. To Johnson yeah. and who the fuck is Johnson? Because I don't know. Yeah. I'm not from here. I so tell I me who Johnson is. I didn't is. know until somebody you know told me that it was apparently one of the founders of the town. So, oh, so then, then why wouldn't you keep the founder of the town's road? So the Johnson Road, right by where where I am. And it just turns into a Red Wolf and Stadium or Stadium and Red Wolf, whatever it is. No, it's from Hilltop to to Dan Avenue. Is that right? Yeah, I know all those people. Yeah. I, I Clearly, <laughs> I, I don't pay Dan attention. Is. I know where I'm going. I go to right. Sam's. That's about it. Right. I don't do too much shopping in town. Right. So, um, especially Abercrombie and Fitch. Have you ever <laughs> had been able to fit in those shirts since you're like five? I feel like I'm. I feel dirty. After yeah, you're losing. Much. You're losing weight. You're doing good. It's yeah. not your neck. It's totally your body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing: the people. My people, eyebrows are getting thin. I like that. Fine. They're losing a little weight. Finally, the only thing, the only thing getting thin on you is your eyebrows. That's what we're talking about, Mister Miller. Yeah, I actually, I'm losing it. Uh, you keep going. I mean, I appreciate that. Good luck. Get everything else. We're talking about politics right now. Here's the thing. Mm. This this is my. Are you on him right now? This is my. Ooh, it's all on you right now. Here's my from what I really. Th- it's. I mean, we could go on about this for 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 a while, but here's the problem with it. You've got. You want to change the street to Martin Luther King. All right. There's now, so many pauses now, in this, I want to have so many comments already. <laughs> so, so Martin Luther King ends at Hilltop. Okay, so what's happening out to Hilltop? From, from the college to Hilltop. Okay, you're talking to a guy that don't give a shit. You have to be on that road 
You have to okay, see that's all that divide. Stuff. That's a divide. Yeah, no, everything that's that's like when you, if you're coming towards Hilltop past the college, as soon as you get to that, yeah, where, that's where Johnson. the Y intervenes right yeah, there. That's that's Johnson that comes up. But, okay, but it but that street used to be straight. So, because that. Straight is and not gay, state. Gerald. Are we getting to a training thing? Because I'm sick of this <laughs> shit already. That's Had enough. That's Sunday. Don't that's you that. say straight on this network. <laughs> I'm a frustrated. Where they're, where they're Keep going. Them. You're doing good. You're doing good, man. Where they're building a the new theater. Oh, that's, the new where they, Okay, so that. that that's so is that, is that Johnson and Stadium intervening? I think it. I think stadium ends there. No, it's not a stadium anymore. You racist son of a bitch. <laughs> it's Red what it is. It's called Red Wolf. Runs into Johnson's yeah. ass. Okay, so Johnson, the apparently person that made this town, don't have a name no more because Red Wolf's run up its ass. Right. Go ahead. And so that's the. Um, I think that's where you have your your breakdown between the people that want to change it and the people that don't because how many business owners are along that little strip and this again I, five. I don't care right now I, right now five i don't care either way i don't care. okay all right i'm i'm not if at first i was like yeah change it but then i got to thinking well where does that road even stop or how far out does it go i had to find i found out it Oh, so you took a pause. So I took a pause. A little and, bit of break. And got some information. <laughs> thought for yourself. Thought for myself. And I realized that all white people That's are evil. amazing when that happens. You know, and I come to the conclusion that the, the white people out there are they're kind of evil. Because they don't want Martin Luther King Drive running in front of all their, their nice, shiny new businesses. And all you want to talk about stuff. something? You don't want to get in a fucking hornet's nest with me, man. That's fine. Do you not see my cornrows? I'm representing the Native American culture. Yeah, I'm not being racist. I'm just pointing out the fact that other people are, is. Well, it, regardless. Okay, okay. So here, here's the problem. Let's go back. Before we go back into your racist statement a minute ago. No, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> when, I, when, I, when I thought, yeah, just name it. It's yeah, you're giving me softballs, man. Because I was, only, my bark. I was only thinking of Johnson from the college back west. Okay. You know, like in the in the the rougher part of town. In the old times. In the. Yeah, the old in, times. In, yeah. In the old, I'm not. Saying, I'm just yeah. quoting. You know, I mean, because if you you need to drive down Johnson, but anyway. Um, I do every time I'm trying to leave this town. You go down that way, towards the hot sea. I think that's the way to the highway. I'm not really sure because you really know. Here's the thing: I know where it goes. I really don't care what it's called. I'm just getting the fuck out. We're gonna get a map. <clears throat> yeah. Um, geography is not clearly our, I guess, degree or whatever, and neither is namiology. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. Right. Okay, so I, if I, like, all I know is when I go down the hilltop, <coughs> excuse me, Addleton. Son of a bitch, now you bring up another road. Addleton is like, like, God. Then you gotta take Kathleen over to whatever. I, I'm lost. It doesn't matter. You know what the point is? Right. Why does it matter? Why does it matter, Joe? Why are people getting cold right now? That are our public officials, and I really feel bad for them. Right. I really feel bad for them because yeah. I'm like, dude, like, man, I'm one of the, I was, and I got a couple bad knees, but I guarantee a couple Humpty Dumpties show up in the one I could take care of them. Uh, call me because you no, know, I want to beat the shit out of anybody that's blaming any public official for a for a comment. For a story. Right. And you're you're going after, like, come on, how's that anyone's fault when nobody even knows where these fucking roads are? Right. You're a bunch of dumbass shits that are blaming shit on the butt. Mm, I'm going to go. You better camera on that guy okay. because I'm going to get pissy. I'm going to get pissy. Okay, so. Coffee. So yeah, after, after, coffee. After, need more coffee. So after I thought about it, you know, which is not a popular thing to do. How dare you. Think your original thought. So how do why does it have to be either we name 
Johnson, Martin Luther King, or we don't. There could be another solution. We don't, at first, like I said, I was, sure, name it. I don't care. But that is heritage. Were you, know, that's, you white? That's, Were you white? No, no, I wasn't, wasn't white or, or nothing like that. Yeah. I see it. No. <laughs> I love you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah. Keep it real, sure. motherfucker. Trump, 2020. I, uh, so why not Southwest Drive? That's the stupidest name for a freaking street in town. You know what? Gerald Miller. <laughs> <laughs> I like your attitude because I'm not thought about I hate that fucking name. I hate that name. Every time I think about Southwest Drive, I'm like, where? Yeah, every, if yeah. you were to say MLK, I'd be like, right there. I know where the Kentucky Fried Chicken. Oh, that's racist and that's horrible and a lot of things. Yeah. But uh, I didn't. Uh, just, I know we're talking about right. Like, I know where. Damn it, I'm going to screw myself into this something. But I know where I want to go out of town is. Yeah. It's on Southwest Drive. Yeah. I never go down Southwest Drive unless I'm passing Jonesboro High School and the Taco KFC right, right there on the left. And I'm heading out of town. That's Southwest Drive to me. So yeah. why isn't it? That's okay. going out for us to so, Valley View. And so, that. okay. Let's back this up a little bit right. because this is getting too complicated with me because I'm not an intelligent man and I really don't give a straight shit about straight names. I'm just going to where I'm going to go because right. you know what? Most people go, Siri, <laughs> get me to the courthouse because I have court at 7 a.m. Right. Yeah. Sorry. She knows what I'm talking about. She talks to everybody in an Australian <laughs> accent. It's weird. But it's okay. I like the way she talks to me. Yeah. But here's the thing. I don't know the names of the roads that I'm going down anyway. Okay, so why is this an issue? And stadium. And I can give you my... I'm going to give you... I, I've got an argument behind it. Stadium was turned into Red Wolf Boulevard. Not less than a year ago. Was it? Yeah. Very easily. I'm not sure when it happened, really. I don't know when it happened either. But why would you... Here's the thing. If I'm a team coming into my town... Now, they built this giant stadium. Uh, uh, the construction of... Ramson's construction built the stadium. Had the owner or the, the guy that designed the New York Yankee Stadium come and design the waterfall. For ASU. Okay, so they got all these, these, these really big people. They got these big people. Yeah. The the one of the biggest waterfall designers ever, they luckily got that was a buddy of my buddy that showed up and goes, Man, hey man, let things go on. So they put on there and then they changed it to Red Wolf Boulevard from Stadium. Right. Has it not been stadium for a very long time? As long as I can remember. Fact check me on, on Jonathan and how long the stadium is, and then we can talk here in a minute. But however, they changed it to Red Wolf. Why? Why? When you roll in town, motherfucker, and you're coming to play a team, softball, baseball, volleyball, basketball, all the big one, football, and everything's called Red Wolf. The only way from the highway to the stadium and to your hotel is where the players, the opposing players are going to play. The hotel, they're staying right there. It's called Red Wolf Boulevard. That means Jonesboro is part of a team. That means Jonesboro, every official included, approved that. And they approve of intimidating people. Now... Did I happen to look at the street signs when I was at a different college when I played college football? No. I didn't no. care. But everything's called Red Wolf. Perfect. So why is it a big deal now? Why is it a big deal now for some... Like, I understand... Because here's the thing. On my sport brain, my minute brain, yeah. not that intelligent. I'm a monkey. I'm a uh, Neanderthal. Neanderthal. <clears throat> I had to think about it. 
Neanderthal, I'm a Neanderthal. That's my genes. That's who I am. But why would you change something from the owner, or not the owner, I'm sorry, uh, the founder of Johnson, who was the founder of this town, to a political, racial person when you have a brand new bunch of roads getting built right next to it. Right. And whose fault is that for taking the opinions of other people? So right now, if it's the mayor's fault, if it's anybody else's fault, how dare you blame them? They were just going, hey guys, what do you want to do? Hey right. guys, we don't give a shit about the streets names either. No. But you want to make it something that now it created something of something. So nobody give a fuck about stadium to Red Bull. Right. Now it's all the way to the highway, all the way through town. Right. For what purposes? For the college purpose and for the intimidation purpose. Which, as like, I'm never looking at your street signs when I'm going to complain to you. I'm looking at your cheerleaders. Sorry. Yeah. I was staying in the hotel the night before. I love the cheerleaders. I'm sorry. All right. Yeah. The. Uh... <laughs> I love that stuff. You're like, well, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I'm 42. This is when I was 22, Gerald. Get I, get it I together. I, I, you know the whole tax thing fits into fits into this. You know that's Ooh. what everybody got. But I mean, you can't tell me that that's that changing a name to a sign to anything else is gonna is gonna justify putting a one percent tax on everything. Well, how dare you blame the politicians again? <laughs> and how dare you blame anybody because when you want things changed there's not enough money to change jack shit but they yeah. can change a couple road signs right. and it's okay you're telling me that a city growing as fast as Jonesboro's I'm not giving you my opinion about shit you're telling me they're broke uh, no <laughs> I know these I know in five years they're going to be broke but I know right now they're in, they're they're wanting to get they didn't give a shit about Olive Garden, give a shit about Red Lobster. They wanted those places because, you know, it solidifies yeah. their value to have all these other companies. Yeah. And you're going to bring in, you're going to change names for what reason? This seems stupid to me. And so explain to me. I, I really don't know. I, I was watching these comments. They're, they're going, might as well call it Hitler Boulevard. I swear to God, to the person that said that, I have you on text messages. I know who you are. I've got the text messages. People screenshotted you and your comments before Kay took it down. And I was like, wow. What's your deal? We have a long motherfucking road to go. Don't turn her yet. Yeah, it's, um, you know, it's, remember when we were talking about the water park? Are you oh, talking about children again, Gerald? Yeah. When well, we don't have one, because um, everybody thinks we would raise the taxes if we have to have a water park. A privately owned water park is going to raise our city taxes. Yeah. Why would? would, would <laughs> but here it goes back to it. It go really goes back to uneducated. Hopper Bluffs Water Park is owned by a freaking doctor. I he don't did. know the mayor's name. I don't know the county sheriff. I don't know the, the head police officer. I don't know the head EMS. Yeah. I don't know the head of anything. No, I don't give a fuck about them. I hope they're doing a great job. Seems like they're doing a good job. Yeah. I've never been assaulted. I've never been hurt. Yeah. So it seems like in my white ass community, if you want to blame me for being white, look at me. Do I look white? Most of the time people think I'm stealing my child. Yeah, you, okay, you, I have a blonde hair, blue eyed child. It looks like the Aryan Nation. Daddy yeah. looks like this. You look you know, white, but you're not doing very good at it. But you're not very. Yeah. I'm not trying to be white. Yeah, you know? I, I don't yeah, want to be can't white. Help no more. it. You are. Everybody but hates are white, white people. I don't want to be white no more. <laughs> and here's the here's the problem. I don't I, like Yankees. So, <laughs> but I'm not a Cubs fan, motherfucker. You're still a Yankee. Peyton Hill said that to me. Peyton Hill said, "Goes, dude, I'm gonna tell you what." Because I'm sick of Strew Hall. Strew Hall was a baseball coach, and he coached the running backs and everything else. Right. 
that my lead instructor, Decker, I'm so scared. I fucking hate Struhal. Hate his ass, man. He goes, I'm all done with him. I'm, I, I've known Peyton Hills maybe three months, man. I've seen him in skinny jeans, a, a cowboy hat, and a really tight shirt. I said, who's that fucking character? No shit. That's what I said the first time we had a team meeting. And he goes, Wessel, I know you ain't nothing but a darn Yankee. <laughs> darn Yankee. <laughs> to a Yankee. It's offensive. However, I didn't know it was offensive at the time because I didn't give a shit. I was like, <laughs> I, was like I know you ain't nothing but a darn Yankee, but I'm going to talk to H. H was Houston Nut. And I said, go talk to H. I said, man, talk to H. I said, if you want to come down on my platforms, I have Samuel Butu, Weston Dacus, and the O-line and the D-line with Jason Wilfon, one of the best strength conditioning coaches in this nation. Absolutely. Yeah. Talk to H. And he's walking away. And I go, Peyton. I said, what, man? I'm fucking pissed, man. I fucking hate you. I fucking hate you. He just, he just, he just, he just mad. He's, and this is a big kid. Yeah. He's on the cover of Madden. <laughs> big kid. Right. And he could he could lift way more than I could, and I could I was not the fighter yet. Yeah. This is my first six months. I was just a football player. I never learned how to fight. He goes, I go Peyton. I go, go talk to H. But I said I'm a Cubs fan, man. Don't ever fucking disrespect me with your Yankee bullshit. <laughs> he goes, no, no Yankee like Northern Yankee, Yankee. I didn't know till I came to the state of Arkansas, people, that I was a fucking Yankee. I thought that ended a couple hundred years ago. I might be wrong on my timeline. Mm -hmm. However, it ended. Get the fuck over it. Move the fuck on. I'm not, I'm sorry for my language. If your kids are watching, it's the city of the fucking DC. Okay, I just spoke some gibberish. But point is. All right. These people get offended, offended by all this shit that happens, and they don't take a breath for a second to realize. And that story that I just gave you between a college football athlete and a person that was 28 years old, been to San Diego, Chicago, been to all these places, and he's only been to Arkansas. We watched Peyton, man. He'd been the fuck. He'd, he'd get mad when we beeped our horns past the field because he's trying to hunt. Yeah. Now, I'll tell you what, Wessel. I had a big buck right there, and you beat your horn. I was like, you should have been that workout. Yeah. You should have been all right there. But I didn't know that I was a fucking Yankee. Yeah. So, bring your little racial shit right. to me on all this transition of Johnson and Martin Luther King and Red Bull in the stadium. And then take a fucking breath. For yeah. a second, right. and just think, I don't know where he's coming from. Yeah. Maybe I should take a second and listen to somebody like him, because as soon as I took a second and listened, I said, "I ain't a goddamn Yankees fan. I'm a Cubs fan. I'm a fucking. I don't watch baseball no more. I'm a fucking Cubs fan. How dare you, fucking Peyton Hills, call me a Yankee fan?" And but that's the thing. A breath of fresh air makes everything okay. Yeah. Take a breath. It's a fucking street sign. Yeah. If you don't like my language, if you don't like the way I say fuck, well then here. Take a breath. Alright. Alright? Take a breath. Because this is not that big of a fucking situation. If you want to get somebody pissed off about it, I'm still available for the mayor's protection <laughs> at any time to go, you look, I, I want to fucking beat people. That's what I do for a living. It's all, You're messing with the monkey. It's all... Neanderthal, right? Neanderthal. It's all... Keyboard, you know, freaking... People have to be... It, it, people like to be upset or annoyed or whatever about something and this is a good freaking hot topic to get mad about i mean because it just you know because it causes people, racial divide man it is, causes already, it causes so many people to be hateful there already to is racial divide this just brings it to the top you know this just brings it out into the open where everybody can see it and so and it's 
crazy to me that some people have gotten to the point where they just don't care. They, like, used to, it was like, well, you know, I secretly don't like, but now it's just, no, we don't want that. And here's what, and hey, and hey, here's hey, why. this is America, man. Let them be who they are. We have the right to freedom, we have the right to choice, and we have the right to believe what we want to believe. However, if you say some racist shit in front of my kid, probably going to have a problem. Yeah. I'm probably going to say, dude, you need to knock that shit off. Don't say it in front of my kid. I will give my kid the opportunity to make the choices that he wants to make. Right. However, you don't get that choice. Exactly. So who, who like so we're now pissed off about fucking street names? No. We're not I, getting I, anywhere. I, that poor I, bastard I, in the fucking mayor's the office. Mayor. <laughs> he's like, Mama, I'm gonna take another BJ, I swear to God, and then we're gonna go to bed because I can't deal with this. That poor I, fucking guy. I don't think it's gonna I think it's one thing that's going to kind of go away because it's, I mean, it doesn't make, if you, like you say, if you take a breath and think about it and you kind of empathize, maybe, if that's a possibility for anybody to do, that like with the business owners that are trying to build all this new stuff out here, and then why is it now? Why is it all of a sudden there's all this new stuff out here on Johnson Avenue, Ooh. and now all of a sudden... Here you want to? No, I like in that. any town, any town that you've ever I drove like what to. You're doing, Gerald. Any town that you've ever drove into that has, again, do not have a problem with Martin Luther King. I don't care if it's named. He that. said he was racist off camera. I did. I'm got, but you, you go into bigger cities and stuff like that. That name in that because they always put it in a in a rough area. It always seems to be in a rougher area. Not maybe not always, but a lot of times. But you know, so no, the, I'm so I'm, gonna, these, I'm gonna call you true. So that's these, that's almost factually true to what I know. So all these white businesses. I owners, never. My white ass don't go down in Memphis on Martin Luther King. My no, white ass don't go in Chicago on Martin Luther King. My white ass knows when to be packing when not, and I'm not a gun carrying person. I generally don't think I need to carry a gun at any time or ever have a gun around because I explain to my son all the time he asked a question my little boy which I love very much and he asked me a question daddy why don't you have guns like the rest of the guys they're on their walls daddy I see all these shotguns because they're all hunters around here that's fine okay good good I said son if daddy ever needs a gun Something bad really happened. Yeah, yeah. Because exactly. I am equipped. Most people ain't. All right. Hey, you can say whatever you want about my fighting skills, but I guarantee that the mayor might be calling me tomorrow for personal protection. <laughs> okay, and that's and I don't even know who the mayor is. So right. I mean that that's the truth. But it, it's like that was my honest opinion to him. That's the only thing I could think to say to my son is if you ever see daddy with a gun, I have a whole arsenal given to me by sponsors, by people, bullets, everything. It's in a lockbox I ain't even open, don't even know where the key is. Right. When shit goes down, I probably won't be prepared with my own arsenal of how I'm going to handle things. Right. Because I don't care. Right. If, if, if you're going to be that way, we're going to be that way. There's a time and a place for guns. And it's not right here. And daddy's equipped to take care of anything, even if somebody has a gun against me. So if there's a gun and in my hand, something bad really happened. All right. So why would we think that it's okay to walk around with weapons of voice, weapons of change this story, change this, change this, when it's just a street name? Yeah. When there's... How many streets being made? Because 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 we don't want it in the the what what is Johnson? Who is Johnson? I don't know. Does anybody know who Johnson is? I thought it was an ex president. I did too. Yeah. And at first I was like uh, most streets in Jonesboro named named Jackson. Most streets in Jonesboro named after either presidents or uh, plants, trees. I didn't even care for shit. (laughs) But you know what my know what my porno name is? Sugar Wade, because you know when you get that little text message that says, "Hey, take your street name 
in your middle name and combine them back together, it's pretty pimp, though. Oh, yeah. Sugar Wade. Mm, Sugar Wade's good. <laughs> it's not terrible. It's, yeah. Sugar Wade. I don't know. Sugar Wade. <laughs> Sexual <Sexual> chocolate. <laughs> okay, going back. I'm, not, <laughs> I, I, I'm having too much fun with this because it doesn't matter. This started out really serious. It really did, but that's the that's the point. That's the was, point. It was. So, I was so excited to have a serious conversation. We'll have a serious conversation. And then I get here and this bullshit, and I don't even curse. Look what you're making me do. I'm some of it. Yeah. Some of it. But why? Why? Why is it? Why is it? That's the point. That's what I'm trying to make. It's, it's nobody's it's, fault. It's it, no, it's not a big deal, but it's gonna be. It's going to be because you have your business owners. They're white, most of them down there Ooh, in that area. Like and then you have a group that wants to change that. And even if there's a really good reason not to, you know, it's our it's the heritage of of the town it, that they don't want it looking like every other big city that has you know that area that looks dangerous. Well, how you about know? because people's perception of something is you can't fix that. You can't fix perception. It's you just can't? like, huh? How about you change it from the whitest part of the town <laughs> and put Martin Luther King Boulevard right next to the biggest, whitest fucking theater yeah. that's being built, and that's Martin Luther King, and change people's perception of culture and acceptance by going, look, we're here. So you want yeah, I agree with you. I agree so, with you. So I know good. Martin Luther King Boulevard in Detroit. I know Martin Luther King Boulevard in Little Rock. St. Louis. Go to Little Rock. Does anybody want to roll down Little Rock, you bunch of white motherfuckers here? <laughs> Not happening. I don't go to Little Rock. No, nobody wants to go down Martin Luther King on Little Rock. I don't even know where that is. Because guess what? I don't know a street name. But you want to give it to the shortest new street? Because <laughs> that's going to that's gonna be a, a, a thing, too. It's like, oh, you're going to give us just that... Little two hundred yards. Your best thing. suggestion was Southwest Drive. I, I think Southwest Worse, Drive. Worse because all it does is say immigration it's not to even me a and name. Trump it's hater. A, it's I mean, change it to Martin Luther King and immigrant. Ba, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da. I mean, how many times? But here's the thing. I, I want to be real serious with this. I'm making a joke of this, and I know it because it's a joke to me. Right. It means nothing to me. Change Southways Southwest Drive to Martin Luther King. Right. Change Johnson to Martin Luther King. It means dick to me because you know what? I'm not from here. Right. I don't care. So the multicultural, with all these people that are moving in here, don't give a shit. They're like, why are you fucking arguing? However, how about we do this? How about we do this? We turn Southwest Drive to a no name directional fucking. <laughs> till it hits Maine. Right. You know, the same goddamn thing is Maine to me as uh, Maine Rock. Right? Like, you go out there, Maine. Change that to Martin Luther King, right. or change that to Johnson. Give Martin Luther King to the other shorter highway, and everybody's happy. Yeah. Why not compromise? We can't take a break. We can't you, take a break. What you can't do is change Johnson to Martin Luther King, and then change Southwest Drive to Johnson, which would be better streets for both of them. You know, because you're going to have Johnson. In the new, in the coming out in the new part of town, unless they break it apart at Caraway, where Caraway used to run all the way through the college, because there's a four way right there, mm-hmm. because it used to all, all the way through it. If you go everything west of Caraway on Johnson, Martin Luther King, and then leave Johnson alone from there on out, and even take Johnson Street on out to Farmville Curve, you know, so. I'm going to say this. I just went numb to whatever you just fucking said because you know what? It's too many directions. Right, right. Mm-hmm. You know, you probably think that I'm better now. We're going to have to have now. That. You probably think that I'm, I'm, I was the whole time. I was like, you probably think that I'm, I'm better now. Better. I'm thinking about other things. I don't care about the street names. Yeah. Here's the thing. The people that do. You brought it up. <laughs> but it was, it was, it, to me, it was like, it was like, why are people so pissed? There's comments. There's comments, and I have them. They sent them to me. And I was laughing so hard. I was like, 
I was at a gas station pumping my gas going, might as well call it Hitler Avenue. I'm like, there's Jonesboro. Let's be honest. They don't know why they pissed. Nobody knows. But the people that have a valid point, okay? Okay, give me the, the valid pe- point. The people with give the, me the with, valid point, the people Gerald. With the biz- I already did, but we'll do it again. The people with the businesses, <laughs> the people with all the businesses on Johnson, they don't want it to be named a Martin Luther King because they don't want that to be that to be seen as a negative thing for people coming in after. Okay. Because, it, because I will like I will repress said, you from your statement right here, and I will take this on. Okay, so Martin Luther King in every city is not a place white, white people want to go down. Okay, I'll oh, say that. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. That's, that's true. true. Not one, one white, white person that goes, oh, shit. Because every time I'm comfortable being in Chicago, in the west side, east side, being on, I'm comfortable being in these places. I've been in Sandy. I've been in California. Everywhere. Kansas City. What? Motherfucker. Check my dossier. It's fine. I'm fine on going to those places by myself. Do I get a little bit nervous when my kid's in my car? Absolutely. Yeah. Do I wish I had a gun? Absolutely. Because you never fucking know oh, yeah. on those roads. So, I understand. But, here's where it is, Gerald. Do you not think it's our responsibility to change the aspect of given light of what that name represents in other cities to bring it to our town and go we are better than that mm-hmm. we are better than that right we are a new town 10 years ago half this shit didn't exist 10 years ago half these people didn't have fucking paved roads now they don't have to go through gravel or every fucking week their windows getting chipped it was longer than 10 years ago they had gravel but this is this this town story. I get what you're saying. This town story. Do you get what I'm saying? Well, that's the point. Why why can't we be the example of betterment? Why don't what maybe that's what they're doing? I don't know who's trying to push this bill. I don't know why people are talking about this stuff. I don't think it's a I really it's a fucking street name. Leave it the way it is before people get pissy and hurt people. Right. Like there's no reason to change or hurt. Or put any fucking physical form on somebody else because of street name, right. and you're gonna you're gonna go you're gonna say bad things about a mayor we don't know, right. yeah, about a police chief we don't know, about a prosecutor attorney, attorney excuse me we don't know. <laughs> so you're gonna you're gonna do those things to those people. You don't. You don't even know their fucking names, but you're gonna be pissy about a street name change. Shut up. Yeah. Shut up. Educate yourselves a little bit. Take a fucking breath and go. <gasps> Maybe it's not as big as a deal as us not having multicultural swimming pools. Right. Maybe it's not as big as us having this side of town and this side of town come together for water slide. Because have you ever seen a black child and a white child go down a water slide? They're all fucking smiling. Exactly. Nobody's yeah. pissy then. Okay, yeah. Even the fat black. guy and the fat white girl and the fat black guy and the fat fucking guys that can't go goddamn in the goddamn tubes that eat catfish fucking buffet at old fucking Ron's Catfish every fucking buffet on Friday. They, they, they're still going down the goddamn internet tubes. But you know what? All the white people and the black people are fucking happy. So maybe we need to shut the fuck up and take a breath. Yeah. If you're going to bring my family reunions up. Wait, well, hey, that's every not. Time. Like, trust me. <laughs> every time. Dad, you know what I'm talking about. I no see trouble. August like 2nd or something. It's it's awful. You should see these fat fucks. <laughs> that's my family. I love them. But you know, here's the thing I don't go there often because it makes me look like I'm better now. Better now. <laughs> anyway. My point is, why are, why why is this that like, people are making an issue of something? People are trying to draw an issue. Who's trying to draw an issue? What are we trying to di- dilute what's really going on? Team Jonesboro? Yeah. Who's trying to get the water parks? Who's trying to? This seems like a political ploy to get people pissed off about something. Yeah. 
to me. Right. And why would you do that? When the Team Jonesboro thing is going to go in the bill, it's going to go in for vote, and if it goes through, people are going to get taxed. Yeah. And honestly, I, I know people, I got, dang it, I but, hate because they, they, they can't want, not say it. So are you saying that they want, that Team Jonesboro is trying to to have a taxpayer-funded water park instead of a privately owned one? I'm, yeah. Yeah, I'm saying Team Jonesboro wants tennis courts, want these t- these parks, do these other things. It's not just tennis courts. Right. And then we shouldn't even start off with that because that's the wrong thing. What I'm saying is the people like the Christians, and I, I love him. I'm a friend of him. I consider him a nice guy. Yeah. Bobby Long is against this. Yeah. Against us evolving as a culture. What you're doing is you're creating MLK and Johnson. So what what most people with no fucking education do is go white versus black. Automatically. Automatically. You can call me a racist. You can call me a thing. But the first thing everybody thinks is Johnson, but he was a slave owner. Why do you think half the people in our name black Johnson and Jackson? Because you can't deny history. People are going to have a problem with that statement. Go fuck yourself. Follow me on history. I guarantee I'll eat you. I guarantee I'll eat you on fucking history. And that's what I love to do. That's what I love to do. I However, know. I think... I, go ahead, go ahead, no, go ahead. No, the, okay, now this is what I didn't know. So I didn't know that the, that the whole thing wanted to be taxed and the city of Jonesboro owned the water park. Because that seems like a terrible idea. Why not? Because the city of Jonesboro owns Craighead Forest. It says the state park. But yeah, the city Craighead Forest sucks. Yeah, and they shut it down. You <laughs> know what they, they want? They ain't gonna ch- shut down a bunch of water slides because they're making money. Okay, here's here's what you do. Okay, all right. So what do we do? So it obviously needs to be somewhere close to the bypass. So when people coming through in and out of town see it, you know they stop. They bring revenue into town. But if it's, it does not need to be freaking city owned, what the city needs to do is go, hey, here's all this land we got out of here that we're not doing a damn thing with. With the Honda place out there? I mean, what, storage places? Or maybe up on Southwest Drive. That big area mm, out there. Where you they mean were, MLK Boulevard? Where, where they, where, yeah, where they were going to build the hotel or the uh, mall that sucks. They were going to build it out there. Who the fuck is going to a mall besides fat people? I'm, I'm going to say are, it right now. And I, I'm sorry, Mayor. Uh, if the one thing you take from this is I hate fat people, and I'm kind of getting chubby, too. I hope, I hope you but, but, so, like we got this land we're not using. If you'll come in and build a water park, we'll give you the <laughs> land to do it on. Right. they got land sitting all over this town that they're not used to doing anything with. And there's the no revenue reason. that would come into the town... Would outweigh giving away the no. Land. Here's what I'm, I'm gonna restate your statement like that: the revenue that they would keep, yeah, in this town. Right, that too. Yeah, I ain't going to the fucking water park in Jonesboro. Right. I will never go to those places. I don't like Jonesboro. I will never like Jonesboro. I refuse to like Jonesboro. <laughs> There's my statement. I will continue to spend my time driving my happy ass a fucking hour away to Poplar Bluff or an hour away to go to that water park. However, the revenue that they would keep from the people that actually like Jonesboro that is multicultural, you're going to change it, then I'll be part of you. If you ain't going to change it, stop worrying about fucking street signs and start changing fucking culture. That's my point. Okay, and that's not going to happen because I've been to other places and I know I'm arrogant. I know I'm a fucking ridiculous person and blah, blah, blah. But here's the thing. If everybody, if they had a water park in town or outside of town on the outside of highway or on this side of the highway or 351 or Walcott or whatever, right. they would all go to it. And Jonesboro would make fucking money. Yeah. But here's the thing that people don't want to do. The old hierarchy, the old fucking... This Nazi bullshit, which I know it's easy. I know it's an easy slam. I know it's a, this is my politically incorrect bullshit. 
Because I'm so sick of people calling Nazis. I'm calling everybody Nazi. Fuck you, you're a Nazi. Fuck you, you don't believe what I am. Fuck you, you're a Nazi. <laughs> That's my belief. But here's the thing. You can believe what I want to believe or listen to actually what I say. And what I say is very true. Yeah. Okay. Changes are going to happen. And if you're not accepting of those changes, the culture will overwhelm you. Yeah. And when the culture overwhelms you, you don't know how to differentiate, differentiate yourself from culture and where you should put it and right. appropriate it. If you put a fucking city park in the middle of a goddamn city and you put it and say, hey, white, black people, we're all together, man. We all love fucking slides. Right. Look at every fat black person, fat white person, fat fucking kid. It goes down the slides. Not one of them doesn't have a smile. Right. Not one of them. So put the fucking thing in the middle of goddamn city. Shut your fucking mouth. Make your fucking money. Charge whatever you want. Because it's, you know what? Where I'm going, I'm driving my happy ass in a fucking 2019 Jeep for fucking $100 just to drive to Poplar Bluff for a decent water park. And that water park sucks, but it's owned by a doctor. Yeah. So I go support it. Or I have to drive two hours to a Little Rock for another water park that sucks. Yeah. It's not that good. Yeah. Or I drive nine hours like I did and can't fucking walk through half the water park to go to a real goddamn water park called Ohio where they do shit right, where everybody gets along and they ain't changing fucking street names just to be appropriate. Right. But that's my opinion. Yeah. I'm an innocent guy in this. You're the one that has to live here, man. I ain't bringing my kids to this place because <laughs> it seems too racist to me. You're not going to get away from that. You might, up to a degree, but you either got to go somewhere cold. I want that. I want that. You look, would. look, you understand. I want that racism. Bring it to me. Why? Why? People don't know because of ignorance. Ignorance breeds racism. I don't think it's as bad. I don't think racism exists like they like it used to. I don't think it's as big of a Culture? freaking deal. No, but you really don't have that. You know, a bunch of freaking rednecks in a picking up pickup truck yelling the n word. I just at, fucking like, seen him leaving the fucking Turtle Creek Mall on Jonesboro. I promise you, Joe, that pulling, shit's pulling out real. Of the parking lot, yeah. They call me. The wrong word. <laughs> and they're messing with it. Every day I get taunted, dude. Ah. Every day I get taunted. That's fine. That's yeah. fine. I I don't belong here. Why do you think I fucking stay at my house? <laughs> Why do you think I take my kid? The only time I go in public in this place because they can't handle a guy that's tattooed. I've had children touch me on my skin at pools and go, you look like Maui. I didn't know who the fuck Maui was. I'm like, who the fuck is Maui? Maui, what? I'm like, dude, get your kid. He's like, I'm going to get arrested for being pedophile. This kid touching me. My kid, my kid, Talon, was like, my, that's my daddy. Like, like, Talon got mad. Talon got so mad. Then another kid was like, was like, he was trying to figure out, and he goes, how did you earn your tattoos? Yeah. And this is the Paragon water park. I'm like, I'm like, are my fucking tattoos like like when these people that sorry to say are both in t-shirts in a pool yeah so you can imagine how much they weigh and they're both going no he thinks you're Maui the guy that I've never seen this movie yeah. I've never seen a thing about this my kid's pissed because another kid's touching daddy <laughs> And I'm trying to go, holy shit, I'm not going to get arrested. I just please me and get arrested. But as two floating blobs go past me in t-shirts, right. much as fucking you are. <laughs> That's going to tell me another subject, but much like the fucking malls and much like Walmart you see here, everybody's a fat fuck. Yeah. Sorry, we're going to turn this back into that. Why can't we turn this back into that? You bunch of they just do something. I'm so upset with you. I'm 
so like I don't care about your street names. I don't care about what you fucking believe. Stop being a fat fuck. Yeah. Hey, ketchup is not to be eaten at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They put it on their eggs. They put it on their lunch sandwiches. And they put it on their dinner. And you can hate me. And you can say, well, he's he's easy because he, he works out in the gym. He owns a gym. I don't, I don't know what it is. I've been doing this since I was sixth grade. Yeah. I'm sorry that you look like you have five chins, but, you know, I love you. Yeah, but those people have been eating like that since they were born. It's not, you know. Well, change some things. Or cost us. That's what's costing us. Obesity costs us more money than immigration. Yeah. If you want to put those numbers, let's, 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 let's talk about that shit. All right. That's over, Colonel. Go ahead. We'll go on. But that's the truth, man. Yeah. All these people are fat. All these people are just, they, they want one fucking subject. They want one fucking thing. Yeah. Why do we learn about street names? Why does that matter? Does it? I can't does, think of one fucking reason. Does it, does it really matter to the person that's making terrible comments or they just trying to, they just want to be, just stir the pot a little bit? If you change my name, from Sugar Wade <laughs> to Walnut Wade, I would still find it funny. Right. Because you changed my street name that I've had my street name since I was fucking understanding of language. From Sugar to Walnut, I guarantee I wouldn't care. All right. I guarantee if they said, my mom goes, hey, Sorry, it's been called sugar all these years, but now it's called walnut. I'm going, walnut Wade, what's up? Oh! WW, what's happening? But that's the thing. Everybody gets all pissy because they want to get pissy about fucking something, man. Yeah. So, like, like, like look at look at your name, your street name. If your street name is really that bad, change your porno name, man. I don't have a well, what was your street name when you were a kid? I have a street name. This is the... We, we don't have that in the South. That's a Yankee thing. <laughs> That's the most racist thing I've ever heard. It's not racist. It must be a I'm Yankee. I'm so horrific. You're, what was from it? The 89? North. From the North. 89 Cantrell? 89... <laughs> what was it? 80, CR? Have you ever called me a redneck? I've never you called me a Don't you say that. You have to. I think I've done it like... A lot. I, but five minutes ago, I think it was. But I, I forget it yeah. easy. Yeah. I'm like, you fucking it's redneck. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I, but that's the thing, the same thing. How you, how dare you don't change my language when I've called everybody a retard, a fag, and everything else in my life. Exactly. I mean, anybody that I knew that was from the North, I'd call her a Yankee. Just, you call me a Yankee. offended about it. Well, well, uh, God damn it! Why would you get offended? About it? <laughs> oh, I just did one. Just because you didn't you know. Choked, just you choked on your you, third chin on that just one. Just because you didn't know that it was not a baseball reference. The fuck, man! I don't know. If you change, my name is Sugar Wade. Does it offend you? If you take my, if you take my street name and my middle name. And turn me into a porn star. My name is Sugar Way. Does it offend you to be called it? I find it funny. So you're not offended at all? Oh, God, no. Coming from, like... If, no, truthfully, I... I, I from, I, from, I, from anybody. Like, from anybody. Like, if anybody called you. It, no, fuck, man. Guess why? I was we, hoping you... We were. won the motherfucking war. We make the rules. Go fuck yourself. Mmm. <laughs> thug life. Sugar Way. Living in... So... Yeah. Uh, no, that's the way it is. Nobody, no, no, you can't offend me. You can't offend me. You can call me a fat piece of shit. I'm going to go, look, 10 bucks says your wife wants to fuck me. <laughs> 10 bucks. We'll put it right now. You might not get it right now, but in about a year, I guarantee I can convince her. <laughs> so, I mean, look, that's confidence, homie. I had so much hope. That's, that, that, we, Yankees have confidence. Now, why we won the war. So deal with the fucking rest of it. If you want to be pissy, yeah, if you want to be that hateful, was, that wasn't even the point I was making. I mean, really, I'm, I'm turning. Even that, that, about that the is war. Nothing racial. 
Oh, Nothing shit. racial. The difference between North and South. Yeah. You can call me a Yankee, and I'm yeah. supposed to take offense to it? No. I don't get offended when you I won. Calls me a redneck. Granddad won the war. Yeah. Shit. We separated a lot of people. You know what I'm doing? Sugar Way. And if you change yeah. my street name since I was two years old to Walnut Wade All right. from Sugar Wade. I can't wrap my head around the... The porno reference? Like, no, the street name. Like, I can't get the... Sugar Street, Walnut Street, Coconut Street. You said it earlier. There were street names with name after trees and everything else. Well, in Ohio, and I have to talk with big fucking words mm-hmm. for you fucking Southerners. No, that's racist. How's that racist? <laughs> that's socialist. It's right? they, they blame Bernie. It's not really man. A racist. Blame Bernie. That's his fault, man. Bernie. It's not my fault. Here's what I'm saying: is that if I have to talk with a different accent because somebody has a different accent, and you come from a different street, and you're gonna call it a different street. I don't give a fuck if you call it sugar. Or Wade. You know where mom lives? The house I grew up in. Right. That's called government. <laughs> I mean, people want to get pissy about it. People want to get mad. At it. Hey, man, I ain't mad at you changing the street. You can call. You can call. I was the like the the joke is, take your street name and your middle name, and that's your porno name. So no, people ain't gonna take this conversation seriously. But it's very true. Right. That we could solve a lot of things. Okay? So if your name, your middle, your first name is your street name, and your middle name is Johnson Wade. Yeah. That's a goddamn good porno name. <laughs> if your name is MLK Black, guess what you're searching on the internet? Okay, it's that easy. But people don't want to do that. All right. Because all these motherfuckers, they're like, oh, I ain't really looking at porn. I ain't really... Ah, shut up. Shut up. Get off it. Get off it. Stop acting like you ain't doing it. Stop acting like you ain't on fucking whatever, whatever website that you ain't doing 